Hello there ladies and gentlemen, Sigma here and welcome back to another video. So in this one we're going to make a tier list for all the legendary characters and this is the second time I'm recording this video because the first time I tried to kind of squeeze all of them into one tier list and it was a mess so we're going to do two separate ones. One is going to think about uh, League Invasions and one is going to think about Soul Raids so let's get into that. So yeah, first up for Soul Raids, um, let's put some benchmarks first of all to help us orient ourselves in terms of how we pick characters. Like Beast Boy is a character that can easily do 2 billion damage, it's obviously gonna be S tier. Um, then we get the characters that don't have anything to do with this game mode and they're kind of bad in general, which is Enchantry, which is Harley, uh, Enchantress orm obviously though i don't know what orm is really made for uh, we got wonder woman and she is decent in league invasions she's not made for soul raids for example um then we got martian manhunter who's a bit of a niche character like you can sometimes use him to increase the duration of negative effects but it's not like he's doing a lot for you then we got the b tier characters that kind of deal damage but not enough we got Blue Beetle in that, we got Manta, then there's the A tier characters, I feel like Zatanna's gonna have a place there, deal some percentage all damage, buffs the characters a bit too. Uh, we got Raven in the S tier, obviously, one of the best characters in the game, buffs a lot of teams. Scorpion is also A tier because he is able to have a team that does 2 billion damage, he kind of enables that, but he is a bit slow at getting there and you need a very strong raiden for that we have just like superman who you can use i guess in a for entertainment purpose team but this is not great we get arkham knight batman at b tier who you can use sometimes to buff batman the drowned i guess though that's a very niche use i'm gonna give him c for soul raids because uh, that's a very niche use of him and you already have john stroke lantern for failing that purpose we got Grodd here, who yet again has a very niche supportive role in, in Soul Raids, where you can use him to, um, like, uh, generate some power with lethals. Manta can also be used as support for Beast Boy, other than being an okay damage to himself. Dark Side is gonna be a deep... he's gonna be a lot higher in the League Invasion 1, don't worry about that. We got Deathstroke, who's gonna be at A... I don't feel like giving him S because eventually when you get six one-shot teams, you're no longer going to use him. Kind of at all. Uh, though uh, he's going to be amazing until you get there. We got Collector, who's not made for this game mode. We got um, a boy Constantine, who's dealing some damage but not enough damage. We got Black Adam here, who deals some percentage shell damage, also enables puppet use with the two negative effects that he's got. I feel like Deathstroke should be S here though. Because I feel like there should be a good delimitation between the characters here. We got uh, Robin King who enables Batman the Drown to be amazingly useful in a lot of situations. Like Chaos Tagging, Spirit Resistance fights. We got my boy Mr. Freeze who is able to hit 2 billion damage as well. But uh, let's put him here. Because it's kind of the same now. Let's put Deathstroke here too. Yeah, I feel like this is better. Because this is 2 billion damage. But it'll... Take you a lot of time to get there same here uh this is gonna be 1.4 billion damage but with no gears and uh, uh, a norse no global artifact this is gonna be enabling stuff well, same for those other guys uh shazam i'm gonna give him seed here like he has some damage buff you can use some beta club or some twin blade on him but he really doesn't do much i don't laps i'm gonna put him at beat here he has some percentage shell damage, kind of same amount as Black Adam, but he's far less good at activating that than Black Adam is, and he doesn't provide the uh, additional benefits that Black Adam does. And Brainiac is gonna be... Oh, this is a weird one. I I'm gonna put him at B tier. Uh, if you don't have Beta Club, he's not gonna do much for you. If you have Beta Club, he's gonna enable some Beta Club teams, which probably can one-shot even without him, but let's let's just leave him at B tier for the sake of it, or maybe C tier. I don't know, man. Let me know where you want Brainiac, because he can do a lot of things, but a lot, all the things that he does in, in Soul Raids are not really that necessary. And yeah, this is the tier list for Soul Raids. I think this, this looks fine. They are also kind of in order that I think they should be. Maybe Zatanna ahead of Robin King. Uh, here, 
that here is fine and uh, the other two, I, the, the last two tiers I don't care about ordering them but the rest of them are in order of how good they are. Now let's move on to League Invasion. Um, Arcanite Batman B tier gets your characters a little bit appealing, increases the health and defense for the um, agility and tech characters. Grodd is gonna be uh, A tier actually. He enables a lot of characters to generate power by hitting lethals, and that's particularly good on blue beetle teams. And also reduces attack and defense as a reflective shields. It's pretty good, it's pretty damn good. It's dark side S tier. Insane to deal with in defensive teams. It's the priority, it's the thing that you wanna remove as soon as the fight starts. Superman S tier, it's gonna interrupt your specials and tag in and deal a bunch of damage to it. It's got the reflective shield, it's got the special one that removes negative effects. It's annoying to deal with. Manta A tier, he can be annoying in uh, defensive teams, disabling your healing. He can be decent in offensive teams. Blue Beetle Absolute Chad, absolutely amazing character, the best damage to in League Invasions. Deathstroke. I guess, nah, 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 the, he can interrupt specials with the third special and do a bunch of stuff that he's not really built for this orm, it's garbage. Raven C or B, yeah, let's put her at C, like she's not really built for this, she is built for soul raids, but for League Invasions she can be used, she can be used with Puppet, she can add some negative effects on the enemy. But I don't feel like she is the best character or made for this game mode. And you run a lot of more risks when using her here. Scorpion... D, I guess. I haven't used him much, to be fair. Enchantress and Harley... Let's put them at C. I literally never saw anybody using them, but their whole kit is screaming, you should use me in League Invasions Arena or Champions Arena. Electro vs. Superman is going to be at S tier as well. I feel like between Darkseid and uh, Justice Superman is a good spot to put him. He's got that unhittable thing. He can be used both in offensive and defensive, though you more often see him in defensive. Uh, Warrior Queen Wonder Woman, D tier. Like, again, her kit is screaming, use me in League Invasions, but she's not really that great at that compared to other characters. Like, I don't know, man. Uh, March of Enter is going to be B tier. It's a pretty decent character for League Invasions. It's going to have the ability to tag characters out and keep characters in the fight. And that's something you want because you see that dark side. You want to kill the dark side. So it makes your life easier throughout the rest of the fights. So you use March of Enter to tag the characters out until you get dark side in there. And then use a special one to keep him in the fight. Constantine, I guess, C tier. He removes some shields, I guess. But... I don't think he's that great, might be wrong about this one. Black Adam 8 here, he has unhittable on the third special hazard, which is something that costs more power and is more inconvenient to activate than the Blue Beetle second special, but it's still gonna be effective, Shazam is not made for this. Uh, Zatanna is gonna be B tier, I guess, or... Yeah, B tier is fine, she's got some decent permanent debuffs that she can apply to the enemy, I guess. Robin King, I mean C, he's gonna be fine in the Batman, the Drown team, if you're gonna try and do that. Ben Flaps, uh, B I guess, he can interrupt some specials, put some Despair debuff on the enemy, has a very nice special to disabling shields, I mean okay, let's up her too, let's up uh, Wonder Woman too. Mr. Freeze is not made for... He's got a reflective shield on the third special. I guess I give him a C for that, but boy, that thing is expensive, buddy. Uh, Brainiac is S tier. He's gonna buff a lot of stuff. In various ways. And he's gonna make you have that passive that doesn't allow you to get hits by more than a certain value of your health, which is pretty great. And then we have Beast Boy, who's... Not really made for this game mode. I mean, any of the characters in the D tier, I guess you could make work or make an argument for them in being in C tier if you really wanted to. If that's what you want to fight with me on this video, I don't care, to be honest. But other than that, let me know in the comments what you think about this. I think this looks pretty good. And I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye!